Good morning guys. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of dreading doing this project. Um, we are gonna be tackling our garage today. I'll take you out in a second and show you what it's looking like. But our garage has basically just been like a complete dumping zone since we moved in. It's gotten worse and worse and worse and worse, especially where we've got like more rooms done in the house. I swear it seems to have gotten worse, which I don't even know how it's possible. Um, we basically want to give it a freshen up. So we obviously need to sort through all the stuff that's in there because like, I just still don't know what's even in there. I don't know how we have so much stuff. So I want to kind of like figure out what we actually do and don't have and sort through it. But the main thing we want to do is actually just make it a bit of a nicer organized space. So we are taking advantage of this long weekend and the weather is meant to be good for the next three days. We're going to remove everything from the garage, just get it out of there paint the whole garage the ceiling the walls the floor um and then put stuff in in a more kind of like organized orderly fashion so uh, it's gonna be a big project it's a double garage and the ceilings are like super high so uh this is gonna be our whole weekend um right let me take you out and show you guys what it looks like now and then we'll let you know the plan first update is that we have a new door so we had a really horrible glass door here before and we've replaced it with this nice oak one which will actually be painted because it kind of matches our front door but anyway this is our garage it doesn't look so bad because it's like a nice sunny day but normally it's quite dark and horrible in here um so we actually have a spare fridge freezer out here this is actually came with the house we moved in but it's so so useful we already put together one of our old pax wardrobes for like extra storage um so that's gonna stay in here this is the massive like glass mirror that we removed from the house that used to be in the hallway we do actually have a sink behind there so we want to be able to have like access to that ideally this is all like loads of diy stuff loads of suitcases we have a spare wardrobe there like there's just stuff everywhere there's so much stuff but like <laughs> we don't really know what this is like there is so much stuff mm. that we just don't know what it is we did try and start organizing this like a month ago and we basically just kind of gave up like there is a lot of stuff that i think we are going to be donating yeah. um so plan of action now is basically we have to remove everything in here so that we can start just like painting absolutely everything. Um, we also have someone coming to professionally spray our front door, our garage door as well. Is that the recycling people? That is the recycling people. Yeah, so plan of action now is we're going to take everything that's in here and we're going to move it out there. I said to Steve, we're going to do four different piles. So we're going to do a pile of stuff that will need to live in the garage. We're going to do a pile that needs to be donated and taken to the charity shop. We'll do a pile that needs to go to the tip. Because um, we've got... That's exactly what I'm doing now. <laughs> oh, you're booking a tip slot. Because yeah. we've got... This is our old um, garage side door here. This like brown wooden one. And we've got a couple left over from the house that we're going to go and take to the recycling centre. So that. But then also there's gonna be another pile of stuff that like we should have this in the house like why is this in the garage we have so many frames in here as well um anyway right we need to just start moving stuff i think and just get it out so we can just see the space and then once it's all empty i'll show you guys what the garage actually looks like because you can't really see much of it right now i 
Right, this is where we're at. So the garage is like basically empty. This has taken us, I swear, like two hours. Uh, no, probably an hour and a half. Hour and a, yeah, probably an hour and a half. Oh my God, look at all the stuff out there. And that's Mad. Not, that's not even all of it either. <laughs> so. Yeah, it's bad. Um, so we've got a very large donation pile, a very large tip pile, and then an even, even larger keep pile, which is a bit worrying. So as you can see, it's nice and empty-ish. Um, we've obviously still got our fridge in here, that wardrobe. Steve's about to take that top cabinet down mm -hmm. because it really bugs me because it's not even the same size as the cabinet underneath it. So it's just like, yeah, we're just gonna get rid. Um, and then basically we're gonna get our, what's that thing, leaf blower and just blow all of this crap into one corner, sweep it up and then we have a DIY hoover, so we'll probably give it a quick hoover as well, I think. And just try and blow, like there's so much stuff like on the walls and everything. And yeah, we also need to take down, there are so many of these like orange hooks, which could be really useful, but where they are at the moment, is just a bit random. So we're gonna take them all down, keep them. And I think we're gonna put all of our kind of garden stuff here so we can hang it so it's just not on the floor constantly. So yeah, that is the plan, we'll keep them, but we'll probably put them in like slightly different locations. Um, yeah. We're feeling a little bit deflated, I'm not gonna lie, because like I said, we've been doing this for a while and it feels like, I don't know, we've got so much more to do in here. So I think we'll feel better once we've got like at least one coat of paint on, but yeah. Time to crack on, hey. So I have had to pop out to Salt Station really quickly because our paint sprayer had a fault. So I went and got it exchanged at Tool Station. Um, if you don't already have a paint sprayer and you're doing big jobs like this, would 1000% recommend. But whilst I was out, Steve, hang on, gave it a really good clean in here. Got rid of loads of the dust and stuff. And he's taken down all of the hooks. So this is very much like our blank canvas. He's just popping out to the tip to get rid of loads of stuff. He's booked another slot for later as well. But the only stuff in here now is this, which we're gonna have to like cover up with some sheets and stuff. Um, but yeah, we are pretty much ready to get spraying. I'm gonna go change my clothes, have a bit of a rest <laughs> and come back fully charged and do this. Okay guys, we are on day two of garage transformation. Um, yesterday was a day. <laughs> everything that, like, everything just took so much longer than we thought it would, honestly. Like, we hit so many kind of like speed bumps along the day. It took us so much longer to clear out the garage than we had thought. It was so much more dirty than we thought. And, which is really stupid, because I remember when we moved in, 
like looking in the garage and being like this is disgustingly dirty but because we just needed to like unload our stuff we just chucked everything in the garage and kind of forgot about it so it took so long to clean that we went to um use the paint sprayer and our paint sprayer wouldn't turn on luckily we got it from tool station so they have a record of all your purchases and they if something is faulty you can get it refunded or or like exchanged within 12 months and our 12 month mark is was going to be up in like two weeks so we just made the cut so i had to rush out get another paint sprayer the painting took like way longer than we thought we ran out of paint it was just like <laughs> one thing after another so we i didn't feel much at the end of the day we ended up like I said, we kind of like pulled everything out of the garage to be able to spray it, which was so messy. I still have like loads of paint in my hair and stuff. Um, so like at seven o'clock last night, we were like trying to just madly rush and get everything back in the garage. So I'll take you out and show you um, what it's looking like. Plan for today is I'm going to be painting the floors. I think it's due to rain tomorrow. And because of that, we can't just like leave all of our stuff outside. So we've put stuff back in one side and I'm going to paint half the floor. Then once that's dry, we'll do a little switcheroo and then I'll paint the other half. It all makes sense when I take you out there. This is what we got to paint the floors with. It's the Leyland Trade Heavy Duty Floor Paint. It had really good reviews. We got it in the colour Nimbus Grey, which looks like it's going to be a nice kind of like light greyish colour. I have used the Ron Seal one before, which is really good, but I quite like the idea of this colour. So we're going to give that a try. Paint that I used on the walls yesterday was the Santex Masonry paint. Um, and honestly, if you're painting a garage that has like breeze blocks and stuff, like I would really recommend using a paint sprayer because we have tried that before. But also, <laughs> it is easier to paint it a dark colour, depending what you're going to use it for. Yesterday, we were like why are we painting this white like it would have been better to maybe have painted it like a dark gray color or something which I know wouldn't have looked as bright but painting white on dark gray breeze block is like a nightmare so let me take you guys out um I'll show you what it's looking like now we can just crack on and hopefully get most of the four painted okay so it's obviously not perfect but it is so so much better than it was before. I left the windows open in here last night to try and air it out a bit. But the ceiling is all kind of white now. The walls are all painted. It's looking way worse on camera than it is in real life, which is a bit annoying. But yeah, all of the bricks are now painted white. The garage door, like I said, is gonna get its separate own little makeover at some point. Um, but we have basically put all of our stuff in here, ignore this, this has all got to be sorted, but we have basically piled all of our stuff back in, in this one spot here. So it leaves me with this much floor. I'm gonna move that out of the way. So like half the floor I can just paint. And then once that's dry, we'll move all of this stuff over here and paint the other half it's basically the only way that we're going to be able to do it we also have another one of those packs wardrobes which we are going to be building here to kind of cover that space um so yeah that's why that doesn't look as finished off there and also the window will be getting a little paint treatment as well that'd be great to match all the other windows so yeah we are getting there my technique when i painted the floor in our last house in our garage um was basically just to pour the paint on the floor and just go over it with a roller. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna get cracking with it. Started out so small We drank and then we talked She got to know me, I got to know her And suddenly it's war Then peace of all to me, I'm getting to her. 
Right, it's been over a week since we painted the floor in the garage. It dried in about, probably like four days actually, which was faster than I thought. So it is plenty dry. We are about to go out and reshuffle stuff around. Steve's gonna come out with me, give me a hand, and hopefully we can start making progress on this because it'd be really nice to get it all finished. Okay, everything has been moved from here over onto that side of the garage onto the painted floor. I've just given this a quick sweep and I'm gonna start painting. <sighs> I'm gonna crack on and hopefully get this done today. Once the floor was dry, I wanted to do a mini makeover on this sink cabinet. So like I said before, this sink was in the garage when we moved in and it's great to have this, it's really functional, but the cabinet underneath is not the greatest. It looks really orangey now, especially next to those white wardrobes. So I decided to give it a lick of paint. I'm just going over with my Zinsa primer and I actually found a sample pot in the clearance section of B&Q, this really nice kind of greeny color. So I'm gonna give it a lick of paint and hopefully it's gonna look a lot better. The next step of this project was giving that side door to the garage a lick of paint. So I sanded it all down with a little sanding block. Again, I used my Zinsa primer to prime it and we are painting it with this anthracite paint. I got this from Decorating Center online. They basically color match whatever paint you want to whatever color you want. And the prices are really, really good. You should have it delivered to your door. So we've gone with anthracite so that it matches all of our windows and everything. And we're actually having someone professionally spray our garage door and the window in there to match as well.
So it has been a couple of weeks since we started the garage and oh my gosh, it is finally done. I was waiting to film the rest of this video because I was waiting for the floor to dry. Um, so the garage is done. It's still semi chaotic in there, but we are gonna prioritize organizing it all later on. We're just happy to have it as a final like finished space now. So let me show you what it was looking like before and then I'll show you what it's looking like now. Yeah, like I said, obviously there's still a lot of stuff kind of like all over the place. It needs a proper tidy and organized, but compared to when we started, oh my gosh, we can actually find things a lot easier in there. I just haven't reshuffled stuff around and put it in its like final place yet. But like I said, I want to do a whole like organization video. Now that the floor is dry, I can move my Peloton out there as well. I still need to kind of like fix the doorknob is like a little bit temperamental. Um, but yeah, it is honestly looking like so, so much better. Painting the floor is like the best thing ever because it stops it getting so dusty in there. So it's just a much nice, nicer kind of like bright, cleaner space in there now. We're very happy, it's definitely worth the effort. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button because we have a lot more videos coming up. We are finishing the house, which feels like crazy to say, but we have like all these kind of like finishing off videos to get it like perfect. So yeah, make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for that. All of the links will be down in the description box as well in case you guys wanna check anything out. And I will catch you guys in the next one.